Welcome to No Longer Conformed. I'm Eric Garthy, and we are studying Live a Righteous Life, a series on the fruit of the Spirit. In this session, we'll be looking at 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 6 and 7. Fruit of the Spirit, kindness. Galatians chapter 5 and verse 16 tells us, Walk in the Spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lusts of the flesh. Walking in the Spirit is an issue of who is boss in your life, you or Jesus. Galatians 5 verses 22 and 23 tells us, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. These are manifest when the Holy Spirit is in control. Last time we considered long-suffering, being long-tempered or patient. The fifth manifestation of the fruit of the Spirit is kindness. Kindness goes beyond long-suffering with action. Long-suffering is being patient with your offenders, while kindness seeks to do good to the one who wrongs you. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4, the first part of it, love suffers long and is kind. And Jesus' words in Matthew chapter 5, verse 44, but I say to you, love your enemies, bless those who curse you, do good to those who hate you, and pray for those who spitefully use you and persecute you. Kindness is tender concern for others, not weakness, not a lack of conviction. It, it is genuine desire to treat others as God does you. Look at 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 6 and 7. Nor did we seek glory from men, either from you or from others, when we might have made demands as apostles of Christ, but we were gentle among you, just as a nursing mother cherishes her own children. Notice the imagery of a nursing mother, a, a, a sweetness of temper, easy to approach when wronged. Jesus is our example of kindness. Matthew 19, verses 13 and 14. Then little children were brought to him that he might put his hands on them and pray. But the disciples rebuked them. But Jesus said, let the little children come to me and do not forbid them, for of such is the kingdom of heaven. Matthew chapter 11, verses 28 and 29. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. As believers, we have the Holy Spirit dwelling within us. We are commanded to manifest kindness by the Spirit. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 4. And a servant of the Lord must not quarrel, but be gentle to all, able to teach, patient. Colossians chapter 3, verse 12. Therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, put on tender mercies, kindness, humility, meekness, long-suffering. Romans chapter 11, verse 22. Therefore, Consider the goodness and severity of God on those who fell. Severity, but toward you, goodness, if you continue in his, in his goodness. Ephesians 4, chapter 4, verse 32. And be kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God in Christ forgave you. The Holy Spirit gives kindness as a manifestation of his fruit. Let him show his fruit in you. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 1 down to about verse 6. We then as workers together with him also plead with you not to receive the grace of God in vain. 
For he says, in an acceptable time, I have heard you. And in the day of salvation, I have helped you. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. We give no offense in anything that our ministry may not be blamed. But in all things, we commend ourselves as ministers of God in much patience, in tribulations, in needs and distresses, in stripes and imprisonments and tumults and labors, in sleeplessness, in fastings, by purity, by knowledge, by long suffering, by kindness, by the Holy Spirit, by sincere love. You have a great day.